Hey, so we're finally working on getting a fuel injection installed. I'm going to do a quick overview, and this will probably be a couple parts video on how to do this, but this is a manifold you get from Ramtech if you go with their kit. Um, these are your injector ports. This is a throttle body that comes with it, which I believe is a GM unit. Um, there's your connections on the bottom. The throttle cable runs through the bottom here and then connects to let me do it, this excuse me this piece here and then runs up that black plastic piece so it's a very nice kit i've already dry fitted a couple times and it fits really well um, here's an overview of the kit and most of what it comes with so there's your wiring harness air filter fuel line fuel filter slash regulator fuel pump and some an fitting so um your micro squirt computer is in there down the bottom it's just a standard k and n filter um, you get the a n type fuel hose it's got the steel mesh under it and then this has the nylon outer here's one of the a n fittings just to give you an idea it's a swivel adapter for connecting to the hose um, this is your fuel pump i already put this cover on it but um, this comes with hose barbs that come out at either end for 3 8 hose and then here's your fuel filter slash regulator which I believe is a GM unit from what I can gather uh, I'll show you a couple other things so I pulled the exhaust manifold off and I went ahead and painted it with some POR 15 and then I baked it in my barbecue to heat seal it <laughs> Mmm, just how I like it. So, um, I've got the oxygen sensor already taken care of. I had a shop weld that bung on there for me. We'll get that put on here in a minute. Um, as far as disassembly goes, I took everything off. I took the exhaust manifold off just to get it cleaned up and paint it, but you don't have to. Um, I got a new gasket on here. Just be advised, this new gasket I bought didn't have this metal backing on it so just be careful when you take it off you don't want to damage that metal piece um, here's a picture of the throttle bracket that the kit comes with I've already installed it and this is your new throttle cable which runs down here and connects to that uh, screw on the manifold that I showed you but it's very pretty smooth action um, I'll show you how I connected it inside the car I drilled two 5 16 holes into this bulkhead um, and then I just Secured them with some nylock nuts inside the car. But there they are right there. Um, and that's holding secure. I just used some fender washers to hold it on there so it doesn't pull through. Um, I bought a new fuel tank just because I, it's hard to tell what the original one looked like on the inside. So I pulled that out, drained it, um, bought this new one from Moss which has quite a few fittings on it. This is for a car that doesn't require um, a charcoal canister. Here's some of the original pieces I pulled off. So this is uh, the original neck that came out of the fuel tank and then that went towards the back of the car to bring the fuel up to the front. I'll show you the inside of the trunk. So here's what it looks like if you've never, if you've never taken the fuel tank out before so that's where the fuel inlet or outlet was that hole is where your drain is but i don't think i'm going to use a drain on this tank it doesn't really come with a proper one um there's your connections up there if you've never seen it before where your fuel tank attaches um it was pretty easy to get out draining it was the hardest part getting it out was actually pretty simple um i'm going to paint this up and get it all cleaned up and sand it some more and then i've got some touch up spray paint in the house so we'll get this all looking good um, and then figure out how we want to run our fuel lines and go about that uh, what else can I show you oh I bought all new hardware for the um, to attach the exhaust and the uh, manifold to the studs on the engine let me show you that real quick so when you go to take your carbs off, these bottom ones over here were really difficult to get to. I ended up having to use a mirror 
And these couple of these inner ones I was able to do with some sockets, but these other ones required a wrench. It was it was a little time consuming, but I was able to get to it. So just food for thought if you ever do this project. Um, this is the coolant temperature sensor for the computer for the fuel injection. So there's a couple ways you can go about this. This is the temperature sensor that comes with the kit. You can use a 3 8 national pipe thread tap to change the threads inside this housing if you want to. I elected not to do that because I didn't want to change anything in case this was ever this car was ever to be converted back. So I bought this fitting. I ended up having to drill it out because the inner diameter wasn't big enough for the end of the temperature sensor to fit through. So I just did that on a drill press. And I'll show you what that part is, which I ended up being able to find at Home Depot, luckily. It's right here. It's a 3 eighths, 3 eighths by 3 eighths pipe thread. So that's what you need if you decide you want to go that route. Um, other than that, I'm still waiting on a, a gasket to get the new water pump on. I just had this rebuilt by Flying Dutchman in Oregon. Um, looks really nice. So hopefully that gasket's here tomorrow. We can get the water pump put on. I'm going to wait to put on any more parts before I get the water pump on, because if you've never done a water pump before, there's very, actually I'll just show you, there's very little clearance to get these um, bolts or nuts on there. So if the pump's all the way forward, that nut will obviously not fit into that space right there, right? So you have to have this out like that so very little of that stud is showing and then you can start your nuts and then eventually tighten them up to where it pushes on like that so and to get this bottom one would be a bear and having all that other manifold and junk here would just be extra stuff in the way so i'm gonna wait for those parts before i do that for now i think that's about it um i ordered some different fittings for the fuel tank because um, I want to be able to put a, a cutoff switch on there to be able to stop the fuel flow in case I ever need to change anything. And I'm still trying to figure out how I want to tackle that. So um, stand by and hopefully part two will be coming soon. Thanks.